Hi, welcome to another tutorial on time series analysis using the ARDL model. And for today's tutorial, it is all about about the BOWS test cointegration test from ARDL. And in this video, I want to show you how the BOWS test is performed in starter and also to explain how the results are interpreted and we have said that where we perform the bouts test when after testing for stationarity we find that some variables are stationary at level while others are stationary at first difference and in that case, it is not possible to perform the Johansen cointegration test. Therefore, we perform the Johansen cointegration test. And also, you must ensure that the, there is no variable that is integrated of order 2. So, in performing the BOWS test from ARDL, the first step, of course, after performing the unit root test and, and finding that some variables are integrated of order 1 or others are integrated of order 0, the next step is to check the optimal lag for each variable. And there are two ways in which you can use to the to check the optimal lag you can use the var the vasoc command and also you can use the command matrix list e lags so let us go straight to the how you perform the bout test in starter First, we set our time variable, t set, yes. And after that, now you can use, we say that you can use the VASOC. In that case, we are going to do for each variable at a time. So we use VASOC, VASOC log GDP. And we find that the optimal lag here is 1. We use the same command for the other variables. Vasoc log dd. These are the results. We find also that the optimal lag is 1. And the same formula or the same command for the log of ad and also as it is similar to the other variables the optimal lag is one the other way you can determine the optimal lag is first of all we estimate the ardl model and before using the ardl command ensure that you have installed the ardl command and if not, you can use the command ssc, ssc install ardl. And since I, ha I already have it, we just proceed. So, we first estimate the ardl model, ardl, the log of GDP, which is our dependent variable, then the log of domestic debt, then the log of external debt, then we are going to put a comma, then max lag select to then 
ए आई सी देन दिस इज द दिस आर द रिजल्ट्स फॉर द ए आर डी एम मॉडल नाउ वी वांट टू टू सेलेक्ट द ऑप्टिमल लैग फॉर ईच वेरिएबल वी यूज द कमांड मैट्रिक्स लिस्ट ए लैग्स सो यू फाइंड दैट द ऑप्टिमल लैग फॉर the log of gdp is 1 the optimal lag for the log of dd is 1 and the optimal lag for the log of ed is 1 this is similar to what you have found for using the vasoc command so these are the lags that we are going to use when specifying or when performing the bouts test and for the bouts test we use the command a r d l then our dependent variable which is log of gdp then our independent variables the log of domestic debt then the other the other independent variable is the log of external debt after that you put a comma then lags we have found that the lag for gdp is 1 for domestic debt is 1 also and for external debt is 1 these are the maximum lags then ecb test you must note that for the bout test it has to go with the error correction model the ec test and then enter now for the bout test the results that we are interested in are uh, this one and the criteria that we use to determine if there is cointegration or there is no cointegration we can use the f statistic or we can also use the t statistic if we choose to use the f statistic if the f statistic is less than the lower bound these are the lower bound if the f statistic is less than the lower bound series then there is no cointegration but if the f statistic is greater than the upper bound statistics or series then there is cointegration now we can check our f statistic is 5.364 and if we check it against the lower bound statistics you find that it is greater than all of them so we will conclude that there is no cointegration we can also check it against the lower bound and you find that it is less than all of the lower bound except for this last one so we would we would say that the there is no cointegration in this in this relationship for the t statistic the criteria that you use in determining if there is no cointegration is that if the t statistic is above the lower bound then there is no cointegration but if the t statistic is below the upper bound then there is cointegration and our t statistic is 2.712 and when we are checking the t statistic we usually consider the sign so if we check it against 2.57 if i find that it is above these values all of them so we we'll say that there is no cointegration and also if we check it against the upper bound we say that if it is below the upper bound there is cointegration but if i find that it is above the 
upper bound series. So in this test, we would say that there is no cointegration. The bounds test, cointegration test, has shown that there is no cointegration. So in that case, we are going to we or we are supposed to estimate only the short run relationship using the ARDL model. But if there was cointegration, then we would perform the EC or the error correction model and interpret the long run relationship as well as the short run relationships. So that is how you perform the bouts test and interpret the results. In the next videos, in the next one video, I would like to show how we will perform the ARDL model for the short run relationship and also the error correction model for the long run relationship and also explain how the results are interpreted. So please watch out for the next video. Thank you and bye.